Now we're going to talk about on the Cisco ASA, and this also works on Cisco PIX, the show version command. You can also just do show ver. And we'll talk about uh, what the different things mean in here. And the first thing we see is the Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance software version, and it's 8.2. That is the version of the software that the firewall runs. The device manager is the graphical interface uh, that allows you to use your mouse and keyboard instead of just uh, a hyperterminal type program. And the next thing we'll notice is that uh, the compile date, uh, the name of the system image file, and again, that is your version 8.2. says how long the firewall has been running. Sometimes that's very useful information. Uh, now here is the hardware area. It says how much RAM it has and, and uh, the size of the, uh, or the speed of the processor. And here's the size of the amount of RAM that we have, 128 megs. And if we go down the list, we're going to see all the different ports that we have in the device. So in this particular device, we have eight different ports on here. And here is the MAC address that's tied to each one. If we go into the licensing, this is a very important portion. Max uh, physical interfaces is eight, as we talked about earlier. Uh, has VLANs is restricted to just three total, and that's very important. Uh, DMZ is restricted. That's uh, used for the DMZ traffic. And uh, inside hosts, it will allow ten computers uh, to connect to the device internally. Once you get past ten, then it, those, those devices will no longer be able to access the internet except for the first ten. Uh, failover is disabled. Uh, this is also in the Cisco PIX world uh, known as a restricted license. Unrestricted means that you can have failover, but in an ASA it actually says failover. Uh, VPN DES and triple DES and AES are the enabled protocols. Uh, allows two SSL VPN peers, a total of 10 VPN peers. Those are client to site uh, VPN peers or site to site VPN peers. SSL VPN peers is a little bit different that you can use the any connect client. Dual ISPs is disabled. That could be useful if you have a second ISP. In the 5505 ASA, that's by default disabled. In the 5510 on up, it is allowed, uh, it is turned on. Any connect mobile and Linksys phone and these others are, are just additional features, licenses that you can purchase. The serial number is very important. The serial number is uh, what you would use when you call Cisco on the phone and tell them what, uh, what serial number you have in order to get support. This one does not have support on it, so if I called and gave them this number, they would say they would not be able to help me without paying for it. 